Hey everybody, it's Heather here with Diamonds and Dragonflies, and today we are going to be working on Winter Sparkle while I do my mental health check-in. So let me uh, grab a picture. I should have done this sooner. Sorry. Here we go. Here's the picture of the artwork. So, whoop, there we go. Here's the picture of the artwork. So I just thought that this was gorgeous. I loved all the colors and it's just really been amazing working on this kit. The colors are just phenomenal. So we are gonna work on that today. I just realized I forgot to grab a cover minder. So give me one second. Okay, I got one. There we go. There's my winter butterfly that I love so much. So once again, this is the perforated canvas and I'm just, I'm just not feeling it, people. I, I'm just not loving it. Now, where does it stop? Okay. There was another place that I could have stopped back here some more. Um, but it's a small, it's like the small section because it's, is this? Okay, hold on, my magnet's upside down. There we go. All right. And it's right there. Okay. Um, the jury is still out for me on this uh, cover. I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it, people. Just not feeling it. So I need some new putty in here. So I'm going to try using my Sensibly Des by Design putty that I got a while ago. Um, she closed her shop. And then I think Katie said, Diamonds and Washi said that she was doing a um, drops on Facebook. But then I just heard that I don't know if it's the woman who does it just recently passed or whether it's her mother and the daughter does the putty and stuff. I'm not, I'm not sure. And I don't want to speak out of turn, but I'm, I'm really feeling for her family right now. Um, this putty is a little different from the other putties that you use. It is a lot thicker. And you really got to work with it, but it does last for a while. So I'm going to try and feed this in here. So how is everybody? Um, I, I don't know that this is, I'm trying to keep my, my content separate. Like, I'm trying to make Whippin Chats more the good, funny things that happened as opposed to the not-so-good things that happened. I, I guess I don't really know how to, how to phrase that. All right, that should be good. And then I'm using her wax, too. So she's... And I really like their wax. The wax is a scraping. You scrape it and I spin my um, pen as I'm going around and around to make sure I'm filling in all the sizes. So yeah. All right. So this is where I end. All right. So I know what to do. Okay. So Wow, I guess I'm going to need to put some more black in here. Um, it's been a rough week. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was not expecting the news that we got on Athena. It was bad enough that Rhea got triggered. Yes, animals can get triggered. Um that she got triggered and attacked 
Athena. Um, that hadn't happened in over a year. I thought we were beyond that now. Obviously, I was wrong. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, Athena, she is a very special part of our family. Um, we... Some of this might be a repeat if you watched my Get Up and Cry. I, I don't remember exactly, and I didn't go back and watch. But we had gotten, I had lost my first dog um, on, in 2015. Um, I was not ready to get another dog. And seven months had gone by since we had lost uh, Duke. And Flash and Haley were very, very depressed. Um, they did not take losing Duke very well. Um, they were lethargic. They didn't want to play. Um, it, was, it was bad. They were very, very depressed. And the vet suggested that we get another dog. Um, so we did. We got Drogan. He was a Massweiler. He was a Mastiff Rottweiler mix. He was the sweetest, most loving, adorable, well-behaved puppy I'd ever had. Flash was immediately, immediately enamored with him and was with him all the time. Like, he acted like he was Drogan's mother. Um, they were very, very close. Um, we lost Drogan very suddenly and very drastically. Okay, is that where? Okay, that's where it is. Okay. Um, it turned out that Drogan had cardiomyopathy. His heart would start to race and then it would just stop. I felt guilt for a very long time for the loss of Drogan because there had been a night that Drogan was sleeping in bed with us and his heart started racing and I could feel it because he was like vibrating against me. And when I woke him up and startled him, it's like his heart rate snapped back into place. Well, the night that he died, he wanted to get in the bed with us and sleep with us. And I told him no. So he slept on the floor by the side of the bed. I blamed myself for a very long time that if I had just let him sleep in the bed with us, I would have felt his heart racing like that. I would have woken him up and he would have been fine. I know, realistically, it's not like I was going to be with him every single waking second of his life. And it was bound to happen sooner or later. That it was just going to happen and his heart was just going to give out. There is no treatment. There is no cure for it. There's no surgery that can be done, you know, anything like that. So there was nothing to be done. It would have just been a waiting game. And I know that, but it still felt differently. I was so devastated by the loss of Drogan to wake up and just find him curled up in a ball, dead on the floor in his dog bed, that I, um... I immediately started looking for another dog. My heart was broken and I needed something to take my mind off of it. See, this is what I mean. This, 
the plastic cover didn't tear right. All right, so technically this is, nope. Oh my God. What the hell? All right, so I'm gonna make this line is the line, okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Um, I, what was I saying? Oh, I was finding, so I found, I found Titan. Um, he was, uh, $900 and he was in Indiana. We were going to have to drive to go get him. Um, at the time he was only, I think four weeks old. So I could get him on the 16th of December. Um, he looked a lot like Drogan. Um, had the same coloring in his face, coloring on his body, had a mask like uh, Drogon did. Because Drogon looked more like a Mastiff than he did a Rottweiler. A um, couple of weeks before we were going to go get him, the breeder reached out and asked me if we were interested in taking another one that she had um, three girls left and that she would make me a deal. Well, I saw this little puppy and she had a derp. Her little tongue was sticking out. I showed my husband and Kirk immediately said, get her, I want her. He printed out pictures because she would post pictures of them every week so that we could see them, you know, growing and changing. And he would print them out and hang them on the wall in his office. Um, when we picked her up, she only weighed four pounds. She was tiny. She was this little itty bitty thing. And she stole our hearts. Her and Titan. I was definitely closer to Titan than Athena, but Kirk was very attached to Athena. She was very much as a puppy, a prima donna. She didn't want to go out in the snow. She didn't want to go out in the rain. I would have to carry her out to the spot that she wanted to go to the bathroom. I had to put on her coat, which was this big, pink fluffy coat that she literally looked like a lamb. Um, she looked like this brindle lamb with pink. It was so damn adorable. Um, if I can figure out how to add pictures, I'll, I'll throw up pictures here of what she looked like when we got her um, or saw her pictures before we got her, and then her in her pink attack sheep is what he called it. Her attack sheep outfit. <laughs> um, when her brother died two years ago, Athena became a very different dog. Um, she had never been demanding of your time or attention. Um, she kind of stayed in the shadows. Well, when Titan died, that changed. I did some reading and I read how when you get dogs from the same litter, one of them will become the dominant and the other one will have its personality suppressed. That that's one of the reasons why they do not suggest that you get dogs from the same litter, siblings. Um, 
didn't know that at the time. I don't know that it would have changed anything of how I felt at the time. But Athena is really funny. She, uh, she lives in the downstairs bathroom. She gets your undivided attention while you're sitting on the toilet. And she won't just give you a kiss. She's got to sniff you first. So she'll do the... <laughs> and it's snort, 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 lick. Um, she goes out to the yard and there's one specific spot where she's killed all the grass because she will stand there and then literally just flop over and start rolling around on her back. Um, she used to do this thing with Titan where the two of them would play. She would grab him by the collar, throw him to the ground, and then he would jump up and they would start like fighting like billy goats on their back hind legs in the air. And she only did this with, with Titan. Well, when Titan died, she started doing it with Emily's dog, with Juno. And so when Juno's here visiting, Athena's really happy. She likes to chase Juno. She likes to roughhouse with her. It's going to be hard. Um, Juno comes back with my daughter next weekend for spring break. And... She can't play with Athena like that right now. She's too weak. It could be detrimental and cause Athena to have internal bleeding and hemorrhage. So we go back next Friday to the vet um, to see whether she's gained any weight and to see whether or not her platelet count is increasing. I don't know how long we're going to have her. Um, I had two days this week that I spent an awful lot of time sleeping because I was depressed. I didn't want to lose another animal. I didn't want to lose something, someone else that I loved and I cared about. I I just couldn't deal with it. Um So, you know, that was that was hard. But I I keep telling myself that, you know, all I can do is the best that I can do. And you know, just go from there treasure every day that I have with her. Um, you know, make it all count. I know that after Titan died, I got a different perspective with our dogs. And it was like, you know, why is it that I wait until they get sick to want to give them their best life ever? Why am I not doing that from the get-go? You know, that doesn't make any sense. So we started, you know, taking the dogs places and doing more things with them. We've kind of slacked off on it here lately. But, you know, it, it was nice. Kirk was talking the other day about we live... Um, about 30 minutes from the Susquehanna River. And there used to be a canal. And they've turned the canal locks into like a hiking path. And you can, there's boat docks and whatnot for you to, to you know, go out on a boat onto the river from there to, uh, you know, to launch. Um... But we discovered it last year and we started taking the dogs one at a time. And it was funny because we took 
Atlas the first time, and he was like, whatever, I don't want to be here. We took Rhea. She had no real interest. She just wanted to get in everybody's car. Um, Rhea's all about the journey to get wherever we're going. Um, whereas Atlas is more about the journey and the destination, as long as there's food involved. And, but Athena hates being in the car. And with her, it's all about, can we get to where we're going as fast as we can, please? Well, she was the first one that she actually waded out into the water. We were like, what the hell? That was very unexpected. Um, and not only did she wade out into the water, but then she lay down in it. It was like, okay, this is cool. She really had a good time. She really enjoyed being there and it was wonderful. And Kirk's talking about, you know, us doing that with her uh, when the weather gets warmer. And I'm really hoping that we get that chance. Um, her spirits are still good. Um, she's eating. She's eating a lot. She wants to eat like constantly. Um, so I'm just hoping that she's actually gaining some weight. So, you know, but it's really wreaked havoc on my mental health this week. My husband is not someone who shares. He keeps his feelings all bottled up inside. And it's really hard because I don't know what he's thinking or what he's feeling. And I feel like I'm alone. I feel like I'm alone. Like I don't have, I, I don't have his support. I don't have him feeling the same way that I feel less alone. I can't blame him. You know, for this summer will make, this June will make 19 years that we've been together. 18, 18th wedding anniversary in November. And for 16 of those 18, 19 years, I, I wreaked havoc on him. And I know it's hard for him to believe and trust that I can handle him having his feelings. But he, he does not trust it. And that hurts. It's like I understand it, I get it, but it hurts. It, it still really hurts because I want him to trust me. I want him to trust me. I want him to have faith in me. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't know. Um, pain has been better than the days when it was 10 plus but I've been having a lot of back pain again. Um, walking has been very difficult. I've got the edema going on again in my feet. So I had to stop the gabapentin. So I'm on nothing for nerve pain. Um, today I don't seem to be having any trouble diamond painting with my right, as you can see. But I couldn't. Yesterday, yesterday, anytime I put the pen in my hand, I just wanted to cry. It just ached and throbbed and it, it was just not pretty. So I left-handed it yesterday. So I didn't really get as much done for February, I mean, I realize I still have six days left in the month. Um, 
I had hoped to get at least one of these big projects, big canvases done. I don't know that I can get this one done in the allotted time, time frame. So we'll see. If not, I mean, it's not a big deal. It is what it is. And, you know, I just gotta, gotta accept it and gotta deal with it. So, I have had some ups and downs trying to socialize with people. Um, I don't really know what happened, whether I was mistaking. You know, when you talk to someone via text, it's hard because you don't hear the inflection. So you don't know the tone. You can't tell tone through a text message. You can try to explain it, like by using emojis. But even then, it, it can be misconstrued. Someone who I had been friends with, um, and we had been talking through Messenger, I had a really rough day on Wednesday. And... I told her I was crying and her response was, why can, you know, you can't change it. And that kind of stung for me. I took it and felt like she was telling me that, you know, I had no business crying, that I had no business feeling the way that I did. And I felt like she was not validating my feelings, that she was actually kind of belittling them. That's how I took it. In hindsight, I don't think that that's how she meant what she said. But we had a little bit of a falling out. Um, that, you know, I felt like she owed me an apology, that she had no business saying that to me, that it was hurtful, her response. And we kind of felt, or I felt like, well, there, there you go. There goes another friendship down the drain that every time I try to be friends and reach out to somebody, um, it backfires and I end up back at square one with no friends. You know, if, if you watched my other mental health videos, you will know that, you know, one of my goals was to be able to engage in and have proper social engagement and be able to have relationships with people outside my family. And I was feeling like I was 0 for 2. Um, I had tried to be friends with somebody else and um, they made the choice that they didn't want to be friends with me. Um, and that stung. That hurt. You know, I kind of felt like I was back in grade school in the playground. And, you know, you're the last one picked to, to play dodgeball or kickball or, or whatever. Um, nobody wants you. And, and it hurt. And I felt like that was happening again. I've definitely had the feeling this week that I don't know that it's worth it. 
I don't know whether it's worth it to be vulnerable and try to be friends with somebody. Um, Cause right now for me, all it's doing is bringing heartache. Because it's just exploding in my face. So I guess the takeaways from this week with my mental health check-in is, number one, I survived. It's Friday for me. And when I'm recording this, I should, if I don't screw it up again, go up on Sunday. Um, but I, I made it. I survived. Um, it was very emotional. It was very draining. I had a few days where not even diamond painting brought me comfort. And... I'm trying to have a realistic approach to what's going on with Athena. When Titan got sick, I was in full, I am going to save him. He is not going to die. And I fought like hell for six months. We're still paying for us um, from me fighting like hell. And I will be for quite a while. So, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. That I'm not going to... I'm not going to go overboard, put her through anything more than what she's already going through. She's happy. She's smiling. She's affectionate. She's eating. She's drinking. She's a fighter. And if it's, if it's her time, then it's her time. Do I realistically think that she's going to be here come Christmas? No, I don't. I hope she is. I hope to God that we can get this under control and that she'll be in our lives for years to come. I don't want her to suffer. And I'm not going to sit back and just watch her waste away to nothing so you know I figure when she's she's done and she's ready she'll she'll let me know I appreciate having you guys even though I'm just kind of talking to myself I know that you all have chosen to turn on my video and to listen and to be here for me. I appreciate all the comments that you guys have been giving me, all the support. I appreciate um, the donations that some of you have made um, for her vet care for us to be able to make special memories together um, and to do things together and I really truly appreciate it I very very much do um, it's never expected but it is very very much appreciated and very much needed um it's not going to be cheap, her treatment. 
we have to get some special food and stuff for her um, that's high in protein and, and calories. And it's expensive. And then, of course, I have to feed something different to the other dogs. So we have to keep her separated when she's eating. Um, so it's a, it's a whole thing. But um, the donations for toward um, Athena's care is greatly appreciated. Um, I should have, that was not, that was under the edge, but it's fine. So I should have next week my normal whip and chat. Um, Samantha comes tonight. So I will have my, my oldest here for her birthday weekend. My husband's birthday was yesterday. Um, well, it was the 22nd because this is going to go up on Sunday, but it's Friday here. Um, he took off until Tuesday. So um, it'll be nice. We're going out to dinner tonight for his birthday. Um, he just wasn't feeling going out yesterday. So we're going to go out tonight. Um, we have, I have a gift card that I got like a year ago to um, Longhorn Steakhouse. So we're going to go and we're going to use that gift card finally. I don't even, we've had it for so long that I don't even remember who gave it to us. But it's, it's a $100 gift card and that should pay for dinner because otherwise we would not be going. Um, I will have this next upcoming week will be the end of February. So I should have up by Saturday my February post review. Um, I have a couple more unboxings to do. I do have um, another small shop haul to um, do. Uh, some of it is the stuff that I got from my winnings um, from an event that I participated in. Um, I have my Bella orders and my Bella art diamond, um, canvases finally came in and they're in route, in route, bleh, I can't talk, they're in route and I should have them sometime this upcoming week. So that will be nice. Um, I got to get the rest of my kits kitted up for my March events. So I've, I've trimmed down a little. I think I'm only gonna be participating in three. I'm gonna do um, Stoke Your Dragon Fire with Dragon Wing Diamonds. I'm gonna do Mermaids and Magic with Crafting with Shay. And I'm going to do uh, the Bella Art DP along that um, Bella is doing. So that is going to be my plans for March, the events that I'm doing. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, trying to get some more of this kit done. Um, I'd also like to next month um, complete Chromatic Duet and get that whip done. So, but we'll see. We shall see how the time goes. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me um, talk about how my week went, my uh, mental health. Um, and you know I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Um, I haven't packed up and ran away or any of the sort. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right. So if you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help and I would greatly appreciate it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing. Um, if you made it all the way to the end, you can put 
Uh, let's see, what kind of emoji should we do? Um, let's do a snowflake for the winter sparkle. Um, so leave a snowflake emoji. Um, in the description below is a link to follow me on Instagram. And then there is a link to buy me a coffee where you can make a, um, donations to my channel. Five dollar For every $5 you donate, you get an entry into the gift card giveaway for that month. Um, so far this month, we're up to a $25 gift card. So the donations are greatly appreciated. If uh, you would like to donate to um, the Puppy Fund for Athena's Care, um, my Venmo is down below. It is at H. Wartburg. So you can um, send money that way if you would like to help donate to um, the Athena Fund. So I appreciate it all, everybody. I hope you are all doing well. Thanks for being here with me, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.